Alrighty, welcome back. Had a lot of comments on the last video. That's great. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And we'll be giving away something else at the end of this video today. Um, yeah, might as well come take a look after the video was shut down. I continued on welding this fender on. You can take a look at it and, you know, that's what people generally want to see is how everybody else does it. And I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, wherever the coat hanger was needed, I used the coat hanger in there. Um, there's lots of weld on that. And I think I explained before I started, I like to weld on this side and take it over to the ledge so we have something to feather. The holes were here that were from bolting the fender on. I filled them full of coat hanger with the welder. Did the exact same thing with the holes here. I used an air gun to cool it down. It's all welded on, just needs to be ground down. So what I'll come, down, come in and do now is try to grind it off like that and just try to take that weld off the best I can. Um, what is going on here is um, now I've got the, the car on the, on the table and as, as we have this fender on here, and what we did is we just I spied that fender. Me and Jolene I spied that fender on there and we looked at it and looked at it and, and I think we like it. I know we like it because we have it welded on. How's that? We like it. Um, right at the present moment, I just want to show you something, what I can do with the frame table. As I have everything set here at a distance, you know, I've already measured the car where it was on each side and tried to center it the best I could. As I come in here and I have six inches on the fender on the front, I had to make, oh, well, I wanted to make sure they had six inches on the back. So we have six inches on the back, so I can see how we put that on there. So I know that the fender is square with the table, same as the car is square with the table. That's all I'm trying to do is, that's what this is, can be used for, because I, as, as you know, um, when you're looking at things, you, you can get messed up. When I'm looking at this fender, I could tell that that back was in there a little bit, and when I come down and measured it, it was in a little bit. I've got a hammer there holding it out right now, but when I come to the back, this fender has been busted and, and uh, been mad and disgusted and can't be tried. It's been beat up a bit. So when it comes time to use the plenishing hammer that Rod sent us, um, we're going to try that on there. We're, gonna, we're actually going to we're going to stretch that more. We're going to stretch that fender to make it look nice. That's what we're going to do. We're going to plenish all the, the the rough stuff out of it. I hope, and uh, that will stretch it out bigger than it was. And then we'll give us that six inches. We got a hammer in there jammed in there now, which is fine. I would end up putting a brace in there anyways from the fender down here or out here up to the inner fender. I would do that anyways. That's generally done on all fenders. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the fender and the inner fender. As I got measuring, uh, I think we're, I measured uh, from the other side just guessing where the fender was. And I went outside and got the panel that goes between the back. you think I would have done that first, but I did not. Uh, this is the panel that goes in, in between each fender and down the back, and I measured it. We're, we're about two inches, it's funny, uh, we put that fender on there, we're about two inches wider than normal. I come up here at the fender thing and we got two and a half, we pulled each fender out probably two inches, so we got two inches wider than normal. Uh, I got to measure down here, and this measurement here is almost identical to the measurement on the running board. So we're doing really good there. We're not going to use these running boards, obviously. These are, these are from the car. They're just, I just brought them in for templates to see what's going on. But anyways, as we got this fender welded on, I said that I would try to make this thing and get that steel rod going up, the steel bar going up the side so we can run that fender up. That's what I want to do. That's what we're going to do. What's this, sweetheart? We'll take a look at the car. You can see how the fenders run up on that thing and how it's round right there. It's round and then it runs up on the side of the car. The door is smaller at the front than it is the back. So the, the door is smaller here than at the back on that. And that's what we're going to do. But right now, um, what I have to do first is, is I have to make this. I got this panel. We left this piece of metal outdoors last night. Try to get it rustier than it was. This panel's for the other side. I've got the rollers set for the other for this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this out and I'll roll it and then I can go to this piece. And I can go right to that and then I have that panel made. But very happy with that. Very happy with that. We're got the other side welded, got the the roof welded on the other side. Uh, all, all the way around the the top here, we got it welded down the seam along the back there we got done. Um, we didn't finish all this side. We haven't got that ground down yet. 
And remember, I plunked the weld on this side of the car and tried to went over to the roof so I would have some to feather off. Uh, we've got this welded up. We've got the piece welded on the back. I make this piece. I make this piece welded on there. Finish the doors and the roof. Put the fender on. Looking real good. It, it's getting very strong. Like the whole car is, come, is getting very, very rigid. It's, it's quite strong. Like this piece, the fender welded on, the quarter panels welded on, the roof welded on. It's getting very sturdy. That's making me very happy. Making me happy. So I'll cut this out real quick. And then we'll go for that fender going up inside that door. Won't be baby. Here's some good looking. see a lot of people in the live chat or uh, a lot of people in the live chat saying where they're from. Where's everybody from that watches, watches Bad Chad and Jolene? Where's everybody from? That's a question I'm going to ask just to get the comments out there. I'd like to answer more of the questions. Jolene's trying to figure that out, how I can do that and work at the same time. This is good for cutting metal and trimming toenails. And the only reason that we're using this rusty piece is because of the, do you want me to say it boys? Pantina. <laughs> we're, you know, of the, I've learned what's right and what's wrong because of the patina. But anyways, that's what I'm doing. I was going to make this piece real quick. We got it on this side. I got to roll it this way. The only reason I'm doing that because the roller is set. And the roller is set on the shape on the other side. So that's what I want to do. Just one more time. It's not going to make it any difference. Just one more time. Just wanted to go through even. And that give us our shape. Right? That'll go in there when we get time. If it's really nice, it didn't really do anything to it yet. And it kind of looks really good. We'll stick that on there. Try to scrape it on the back and do the exact same thing on the other side. Right now, we're just going to lay that down because we know where it's going to be if I leave it up there. So I'm going to push this in. Am I going to use, yes, I'm going to use this piece to do, make another piece. And that's why I did that, because we're going to make another piece. I got that right there, I don't want to knock that over. Um, now, measuring tape. We're going for this piece right here. Now that we got that done, we're going for this piece. Uh, measuring, this here needs to come out some, I see on the other side. This car is starting to settle. Before, the door was up a little bit. The car is settling more and more because of the weight. And uh, that's a good thing. I'm going to take a measurement over here. I want to see how far that's out. A quarter. Ah. I just need your quarter of an inch. Okay, right on the money. Two and a quarter is what I want. I'm gonna go with that for now. I measure a piece from the fender over. So what I'm gonna do right here right now, I've got this fender cut off. I've got it cut off right there. And I'm gonna try to make it, well I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna make a piece that comes from here, down around like this, and then starts coming back up. 
the square tubing, I'm going to let it lie on the bottom here, and I think I'm going to run it right up with whatever I see, whatever I like. When I look at the car, I'm just going to whatever I like. And then I'll run that piece down on top of that, and run it like lay, come run it down and let it set on top of it, and then come back up. I'm hoping uh, maybe we should get our square tubing in there first. That's what I think we're going to do, just so I can lay the, the metal on top of the square tubing, and I can have my sill run across. If you want to come take a look, when I put this skin on the door or on the quarter panel, I let it touch down here because I'm going to weld that together before that piece of square tubing goes up there because that's that square tubing is going to weld on there and weld all along this bottom of this door and up to that cow. And I'm going to get it fit as tight as, tight as possible because that's going to be where the metal lays. So when the metal comes down here, that's where the metal is going to lay on top of that square tubing to give me my run up for my running board. Not using the original running board, just taking a look at them. So I'm going to make everything. So what I would probably, this, well, what I'll do is, is come out the six inches. So everything's going to come out to the six inches and run all the way along this table. And that's how sort of, well, that's how I use the table. That's how I know if I got things running right. And I'll do the exact same thing on the other side. And then I can run this car straight up the table. I'm saying that we got it centered, we're three and three, we're six and six on the back, we're in the center, we're running down the middle, and that's how I'll scope this. But let's get some square tubing going for that. I kind of jumped in this this morning, we got to, we're running late, old chetty -O had to go to the duck -D -O. so we got to, so we got to, we got in late, so we're just kind of running late, and uh, that's what happened on the old Monday. Um, hopefully... I'm going to cut this in half and hope I get one side for one. I'll get two pieces, one for this side, one for the other side. This piece, I'm, I'm guessing, is 12 feet. I'm guessing. 142, what's a 50? Uh, that's fine. Get the glasses on. Six, we'll cut her at set. Eight. Uh, as soon as, as soon as I get this piece on, the car is going to be really strong, and I'll tell you, and I'll tell you why. Because the doors, nothing's going to be able to open this way, because this steel, the square tubing is going to be running up through here, and I think that's inch. This square, three three sixteenths wall. This will be running up the side of this, so this will all be welded here. So it it will not open the door. Then be really rigid there with the with the tube coming on the back and the fender welded on the back. The roof is connected now. Um, we will not be able to pull it apart because it's connected, the roof's connected here, the cowl is connected, so we can't come apart this way. Uh, it's going to be very rigid when that goes on. And the exact same thing will go on on the inside to start doing the floor work. So I'll put a square tubing on a piece on the inside. I'll find a spot down low. That'll be called my sill. So I'll put a square tubing all on the bottom, bend it just like I'm going to do here. And then that's where I can run my floor and start connecting my A pillar and my B pillar to, to make it a car. Because it's really not a car right now. It's just skinned up. We're, we're skinning it, and then we're going to apply all the innards. What I'm going to do right now is there's a tape line on there. I don't, I don't mind it. I don't know if it's right or if it's wrong. I do not know that, if it's right or if it's wrong. But it don't look bad. And whatever I do, I will do the same for the... Same for both sides, is what I'm trying to say. I'll do the exact same thing for both sides. I, I, like, I like what's going on there, how the, the tube is sitting on, the square tube is sitting on the chassis, on the frame table, and uh, it's covering just that tape, and I think we want to run it down just that low. That's perfect for me. So basically what i got to do is get, try to get this shape. We've acquired a roller, and uh, I'm going to try to roll this stuff, see what happens. 
I'm going to turn that down. Put a pair of vice grips on it. I'm just going to make this fit on the outside. So this would be, you know, it's, it's, it sure is integrity for the car. I mean, it'll give it integrity when, uh, when it comes time to be the strength. But the inside, once we get the inside still done, then we can start doing them cross members wherever we want to for the floor. Ah, let's turn this down. It's been a, been a second or two since I used this bad boy, so bear with me. Bear with me. Is it even bolted down, is it? One side it is. <laughs> I'm going to just try that and see what happens. through one way and we'll turn a little tighter when we go back. Sounds good to me. Sound good to you? Have a? Ooh, don't do that, Chetty. Don't do that. Ooh, I need another bolt. Another hole there somewhere. A pair of ice hold that on. See what happens. Roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merely, merely. Life is but a dream. No, repeat. <laughs> yes, baby. Too much? Not saying a word. Oh, she's gonna let me fail myself. She's not gonna say a word. That looks like it's too much. It might be. I, don't know. I usually beat it on the floor, but what happens is I'm cutting that pipe in half. And I want to get all the bend equal. I want to get all the bend equal. Ooh. Well, that now, would you? Cut some of that off, that'd probably work. What do you, hmm, you know what? I like that right there. If I cut that off, that's gonna win obviously, it's hitting up there. If I cut that off there, that's, we don't wanna go past the hood, we just wanna get this part from the front of the cowl, across the door to the back. Now I gotta get it going like this. I'm gonna wind this off. Now, I'm going to see I wonder if that'll do that or not or if that just go crooked on me. So what I'm trying to do is get two bends on this one one way and one the other way so I got one bend that's going up nice or fitting the car this way. Now I need put that in a little tighter. What's going on here is I got I got this way obviously. I mean this way. Now I want this way. Now, see how I got it on this side? Now I got it on the side. And I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that I can do the exact same thing I did on that. Oh, shot it the wrong way. Shot it the wrong way, didn't I, baby? Oh, there we go. And hopefully that stays on there and gives me that. Poopy. Well, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make that one fit on its own too. I could have rolled that one through and had the same place, but it wouldn't have went through until I tightened it down, if you know. Yeah, I probably should have. Probably should have. Now, 
So now I've got what I got going on is I got this way going and I've got this way going. And what I'm looking at, not bad. Don't be like that, Jojo, not bad yet. Um, what I'm doing is I'm looking at that bend, and then I'm looking at this bend. And what, this is what I think of what I'm going to do. This is what I think I'm going to do. I'm either going to the top of the hinge, to the top of the hinge, top, the top of the hinge, or the bottom of the hinge with the bar. Then I'll know on each side we're close. Does that make sense? That's what I'll do. So when I come up here, 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 psh, I'll either hit it on the bottom or the top, one or the other, and we'll do the same on both sides. And I'm thinking that we should be on the bottom. But now I'm looking at this. We'll roll it out and we'll try it. And I can put it back in. So, I've got a. Wow, that looks nice. And weld it on the bottom of that. That looks nice. Nice. Alrighty. I'm gonna leave this one alone for I'm just gonna leave it here for I'm gonna leave it alone for a minute. I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna roll this one and try to get it the same as that one eight one way. Hmm. I don't know if I should roll that first. Hold them together would be nice. <laughs> All right, if I can roll that through. That can be one way. Are one way. I should just weld that one that weld that one on and make the other one fit because I'll confuse myself, that's for sure. That's that way. That's gonna go through this way. Now, it's nice to have this station where it's heavy like this, but Jolene don't have to hold it, right? Jolene's only a, a wall up in 100 pounds. So, just tells you. That's the door, and that's the swoop up. Did I ever whack that too much, didn't I? Leave that one be for a minute. I'm going to slide this one on. And what I'm going to do is I get a marker, cut it off. I don't know why I did that, but I did. This one. All right, are we back to that? I got enough right there for that sill, right there. Yep. Dead enough? Well, we can trim it off. That's what we can do. We can trim it off. Cut that. There's pure 
glasses there, a pair of glasses there. And to get that other rod back to make it fit, I'm going to have to come over here to my trusty piece of wood, you know what I mean, and, and just hit it with a hammer. Not crazy, just trying to straighten it back out a little bit. I went a little far, I think. Not sure, but I'm going to play with this one and not try not to worry about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring this up to the bottom of that, I think. Yeah, to the bottom of that. And then we'll go the same on the other side. What else was I going to say? Uh, da, 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 what else was I going to say? So, when I weld this, this piece of square tubing on there, this metal is still going to be left. Yes, it is. There, this might be uh, where it's channeled, where the, where the frame goes up inside. And that metal shows on that little toy. Some of it does. Up by the, up by the front there, some of the metal shows underneath this fender because the fender runs up. And we will see that that might be where we put metal underneath there and go under to the inside cell. Just so, I don't know. So you know and I know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to peel that tape off because the tape's not doing us anything right at the present moment other than visual. I know where I'm going to. I've got it bent the way I want to. So now it's just the time to apply it and make it work, I guess. And this, this is, this is for visual. This is for eye. This is the eye. You know what I mean? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it by eye. I can go inside there and weld that, or on the outside and weld that. Does not matter. I had it welded there. It fell off, so I'm gonna have to grind that back. And that's okay. Gotta get it off in any way. Get it out of the way. Actually, I don't even have to get it off. To be honest with you, but. Might be hard to get off than I think. But I'm gonna put a cutting wheel on this. And then we can lay our fender on top of this and have very, something very strong. The outside sill will be very strong. Uh, it'll tell me exactly where the door's gotta come up, cut off. Uh, and I'll cut them probably out with the plasma cutters on the top of it and cut that out. We know we'll need a half inch on the bottom of the door for gap in the, in the, in the, in the fender probably. So, just thinking out loud. Thinking out loud. Now, as I have that on there, and she's going up like that, we're going to have to try to make this thing fit somehow. And it's just going to be a little bit of finessing, finessing, and finessing. So I'm going to take this up here a little bit. I'm kind of wondering if I should mark that. See, this is going to come around here a little bit. I know that's... I don't think that... Well, how about we try it first? All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, first thing, I, what I got to do is connect it. That there's no if, ands, but, or, or. I got to connect it somewhere to start working it. So we're going to, I'm going to connect it up here somewhere. And then what I'm going to try to do is try to make all this stuff fit. Right in here, I'm going to try to make it all fit. And whatever I got to do to make it fit, that's what I'm going to do. So there's quite a gap going on there, I know, but... Um, we'll move the metal around where we have to get it moved around to make it work. How long, my sweetheart? Half hour? Oh, we're doing good. All right, let's get this done. Get this on. Let's 
pull this table back just a little bit. She's some, <laughs> she's getting getting very rigid. The whole thing, like it's, it's good. I like how the back fender comes out when the two wheels will go on the back. The back fender will be hanging out nice. Uh, this back fender is a little bit thicker than the than the toy, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I can always cut it back, but we'll see what happens. Looks good for now. It's coming alive. It really is. And we, and we have, I was thinking about it, when I said about the post. I have the post outside, I think, like the metal structure itself. It's, it's plate, but I have the post, but it had wood in it, but I, I still, still can use the metal. All righty. I'm going to... The reason, the reason I know where this square tubing is going, I'm going by the bottom hinge on the door and I'm eyeing it up and I'm checking the hole out. I'm being like Santa Claus. Checking it twice. Haven't got a ground on you, have I? That's okay. I usually do that once or twice a day. And that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay. So as I got that on there, it goes up like that. It's got less bend that way, more bend that way. Good, 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 good. Oh, wheat shreddies. So, I'm just going to eye it up again. Oh, Eye it up again for the bottom of the hole on the hinge, and I'm going to the front of the cow, and that's the end of it. No gas on, but I hope that helps. Just starting today, eh? That's what happens when you start. Alrighty, that looks. Well, I like that. Don't you? Huh? I like that. So, as I got this going here, I'm going to fit it. I'm going to hit that one more time where it's tight. Here we go. Now, I'm going to hit it tight here. It's tight and right, so we're going to hit it. And it's down on the ground there. I got a little bit, to, little bit to cut off down there, which is great. I'd like to turn this a little bit if I could to make that flatter. See how it's laid up like this a little bit? See how it's laid up like that a little bit? I like to just turn it a little bit. I'm going to get a screw or a pair of vice grips here. These channel lock. Right. Here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you can see how it's angled up there in the back, right? Or I can. And the pipe just needs to be turned, that's all. So we're straight. I like that better. I like that better. Ah. Well, with my left hand, see? Alrighty. I'm happy with that down there. Now, let's bring her in. Let's, let's, let's show it's who's boss. That's what we gotta do. That's basically it. Showing who's boss. We'll stir it up close if we can and bring it down or I guess it doesn't matter as long as, long as it works. Now, am I happy with the rest of it? Yes, I am. Getting that nice, and we know that's nice because it fits that nice, I and mean, that's got a nice round bend on it, so we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. Uh, I'd like to get, we're doing good. If I had a long pair, I'd put it in the dive the door and do it that way, but I gotta come up through, I guess, and uh, we'll come up through, and we'll see what happens. Quite a gathering there, isn't it? Mm, ah, come on, girl. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to gather one up there because it's because it's tight enough for a weld. One up there. 
I'm gonna move this down a little further if I can. Ah! Maybe I'm gonna tighten her up then. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. something bang or going but look at that now look at that now huh that's what I'm talking about that's what we got to do That gives it that nice shape that we want. The nice shape that we want. Yes, Jesus loves us. Huh, baby? He loves us? Uh, right in my own brain, right in the present moment, I am super stoked to how this is fitting and looking. Just super stoked about it, just because it's something that has to be done. I know it has to be done every time. It's just how it goes on, how it's applied, how fast you can get it done. Can you get the metal bent both ways? That was that worked perfect, perfect. Perfect. What is going on? I'm having some dirty old... That door must be banging going on there. We got some pressure going on her now. If she ain't going nowhere, I got her attack down. Mm, that's going good. Beautiful. Absolutely. Wow. I might as well just weed whack it, I guess. Feels good. Feels good. And it running good too, because you know that pipe's got a nice constant turn on it, so it's it's doing its job. Well done. Very, 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 very impressed with that. Woo! I mean that. Yes, I do. Oh, I haven't got the air on, do I? Anyways, it's on the cowl. It's on that end. I just wanted to heat that because I hit it three or four times. So, uh, now... That makes me happy. So you can see right now, thank you, sweetheart. You can see at the present second uh, what the shape of the door is going to be. So this is the shape of the door. So when I'm going to come in here, I'll have to cut that off at the bottom of the door. I'll have to make a new bottom for it. That's no problem because I've got to make the inside anyways. Uh, and this will be the part that's underneath. Now, do not do not know what I'm going to do here yet. If I'm going to weld that together and bring a piece of it, what I'd like to do is have a nice new piece of metal underneath there and roll it under to make the inside sill. It would be nice, but we'll see what happens because um, that's good metal. There's nothing wrong with it. I just have to weld that seam together. I can do that from the inside or outside. This seam together and then 
that's the end of it. But we have the square tubing on the outside. Awesome. Oh, yeah, I got the other one bent too far, haven't I? That can just slow me up a little bit. How's that? So right now, I'm going to get a piece of paper. And I'm going to make a roll from here to there. Let's see. Or no. Yeah. Looks somewhat square, does it not? And see, what's going to happen is we've got to get a piece of metal to fit that. And we've got to scribe that to fit that. And we're going to have to have the same on both sides. We're going to make two. Uh, they have to be, how wide do they have to, oh, tape measure. They have to be at least, uh, we'll say, hmm. I'll say a foot wide, and I'll say a foot wide. This is why I'm saying a foot wide, because that's not a foot. A foot's way over here. The reason I'm saying a foot wide is because look what I have to do when I get there. What I have to do, I have to scribe, so I have to cut some off to get this in to go straight. Uh, put it in like that, but still, I have to, I want it to go in straight, so I'm going to have to scribe that. And that'll basically be what's going on there. We'll make it that long. That long by foot. 15, we'll say 16 by foot. So I've got to go get a couple pieces of metal. Right behind you, sweetheart. Two pieces here that look like they're the same. Look at that now, would you? Cook them with gas on that one. Hope they're long enough. And what we'll do is we'll just make two so we have one for this side and one for the other side. What did I say? About the same length. It is the same length. Same width. Oh, one's wider than the other. One is, I think one, one metal's thicker than you, one a little thicker than you, no matter, I guess. We'll roll this one through, see what happens. This is a thicker metal. I know that's that bent too far. That's a shame, <laughs> isn't it, baby? That's a shame. Um, I want to roll this. We'll try it, see what it does, what it looks like. That, that doesn't do it for me. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just try to keep it the same. I smell stinky. It must be burning that, that tire inside. It must have gotten caught in the car or something. Smoking. Was it? Good stuff. Good stuff. The old Chevy got no wood in her now, has she? Huh? We're using it all down the house to keep warm. Mm, not enough. One, two, three. I better get that other piece over here first because it might not fit in when I get going, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Like once I get buzzing it up through, I might not get it in. To... Excuse me, I got that other piece. This. Uh, that's a different gauge metal. <laughs> that's probably, I don't know. I'm, I'm addicted to 18 gauge, and uh, that's last that's 20 or 22. But it don't matter for this piece, seeing where it's so rigid, where it's got that nice bend in it, it won't matter too much. Not to me. Do that. Want to go, want it get want it going in straight. Let's go check this out. See what. See what everybody's telling us. Do you like that? Not bad, eh? Mm hmm. She says. Mm hmm. All right. I'm gonna take a marker.
we want to get the center. I guess somewhere in the center. In the center. I don't want that. You know what I mean? I want that straight in there if I can get it. I don't want to lean down. See so how to lean down. If I can make it lean, fit lean down, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to take and go from, well, okay, I'm going to go from here up like that and just see how far that is. Just guessed it. Just guessed it. That's all I did. It might have been the wrong guess, but I got lots of, seems like a lot of metal here. Glass right behind you. Now, I have to have it coming out level. I have to have it coming out level. It don't look bad there, does it? Probably could come up. Just <laughs> bah, 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 bah. See what happens there. That wasn't a bad scribe, was it? That was a good scribe. I had a little tiny square here. I think it broke and fell. Fell and broke or whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Not bad. I'd say that piece fits to me for me. I'm gonna tack it on. Well, I'm gonna tack it on. And obviously, that'll have to be cut off where it fits. I just check the suit. Up, down. What do we got going on here? Right there is where it fits. Where's the bubble at? Come on, bubble. Where are you two? Where's the bubble at? It's in there tight. No, I'm gonna go up some more. I like it. Why did I pull that out of there? I wanted America, that's why. Smaller piece going on here. 
destined full time, you know, I'm, I'm with an educated desk. That's, I marked it there because it was tight down on there. To explain that, I got this comb right there. This is where it ends being tight on the top of the, on top of the square tube and then starts slipping up from there. Don't need that anymore. That scribed in there nice. I'm trying to come straight across. Trying to come straight across. Now I'll have to cut this down a little bit. That's pulled away from the fender. I want to hit where it's tight. And then we'll start dealing with this sort of stuff after. I'll tack it. Over there, I'll basically, all I can do is start tacking it and moving it around, doing the best I can. Well, there's bugging me. Now I'm going to know to put it there. Every time I lift it up, it comes out a little bit. So what I'm saying is I gotta fit like this and every time I lift it up, it comes out. Hmm. Just gonna sculpt the center out a little bit. Now I'm just going to tack that on there, and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to move it and make it level. Okay, all here. I'm moving it. See that? I'm going to wait here too much. Damn it! Didn't get the line looking good yet.
Do that welder, get in and out. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to get this round shape and then I can deal with the side of it after. I got a fender going on here that does not look the same as that fender there. I got dog hair in my mouth. Uh, I'm just going to tack that a little bit better, get the helmet on. I'm going to get this in place and then start playing with it. Alright, got it tacked on there now. What I'm trying to do is, is that what I want is the table's level, the rest of the car's level. I want to get this piece in there level so it looks right. And this piece can come off. This is just trying to get it on there so I can get a visual of what it looks like. Come on, off tape. Any other time you, you, you want the tape to come off, it would fall off. Or wouldn't want it off. Or you want it off. Eh. Get off, please. <laughs> Trying to be nice. Once I get it, can't say too much. The the, the rod went well, right? Come on, baby. Come on, man. Let me get this put on here so I can stand back. Take a look at it. What I want. Now we got it. Yeah, so. <laughs> um, what? Should you trace that shape on the other piece? On the other piece? Like, I can. Not a bad idea, sweetheart. Thank you. Just for poops and giggles, right? Yeah. We'll get the other piece knocked out, give me not. I could put a piece of paper and do the same thing. Good call, baby. Good call. Good call, Joe Joe. Good call. See, I'm just scared if I cut that that small. Oh, yeah, I'm cut that small. It fixes that, doesn't it? Huh? Fixes that. What I should do is just weld something on the table. Hold it level and then it'll be fine. I'm trying to do it this way. It's being a, not being not playing nice, is it? Yeah, not playing nice.
frustrated here in a second, okay? See, that doesn't do me any justice there. Really. Don't let me put it on. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not fitting right. Well, let's turn that off. Drive it again and again and again until it works. That's basically what's going on. The bubble. See the bubble? Do you see the bubble? See it? That's what I gotta do. We're gonna have that on there like that. So I gotta turn the welder back on. Turn the welder back on. Let's get our our bubble. Very fine tuning. Play that, play that, play that. So it should be. Beautiful. Cool. So I'll measure the other piece. And see how far we come out on this right here. We'll measure this piece when we put the other side on, where to put this piece on, and how high we go up on this side to get the same distance. Now what I have to do is I'm going to come in here and cut this off and make it fit that fender nice. Cut this off here and fit the fender nice. Then we're going to go on this side. I'm going to leave this for now. We haven't got much going on there. I'm going to leave this for now because I want to I want to be able to cap this and make a piece for that, like that. But right now, I probably will try to get this back in there. Get, see, I got the, see, I got that away from there now. Now I'm going to have to pull that, take and cut that. Sorry, sweetheart. Take and cut that across there and get that in there nice and tight. And that's our start. We'll make this corner, and then we'll go from there. How long is it? An hour and five, so we should do the draw now. All righty, let's draw for a hat, man. Thanks, everybody, for the, for the comments and the... And the responses, things are going well, and you're, and you're all part of it. So, thank you very much. Just a little bit going on there. Um, I have to, you know, I have to take a look at it. I might, not, I might not even be happy with what it is right now. I still really do have to just keep looking at it, keep looking at it, and decide whether I like it or not. And it doesn't seem bad. It's got a nice round. It's got a nice round going on there to come up around from here, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Looks good. So I'm happy with it, I think. So that's basically going on. We're making that little piece right in there. We have a different fender on the back. Obviously, we have a Chevy, but we're going to have to make a piece with this line in it and a round edge on this side. Not sure yet, but yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. All right, let's draw for a hat. And we can have a hat. 
hat or a t-shirt. They can have a hat or a t-shirt. Hat or a t-shirt. Whatever you like. Yes, I, I, I like that. I'm, I'm liking that. And that meant a lot to get that low, you know what I mean? Like me to put that in there and let that lay down, that would not look nice. Okay, so this is on yesterday's video. Yes. Copy. Paste. I guess basically what I showed you on this video is just keep puttering away, keep picking at it, take a little bit off, take a little bit off, take a little bit off until you get what you want. Uh, and then when you get what you want, then you can nail it. And Joey's going to nail it right now. 903 comments. Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Gregory Marchuknuk, or whatever. Looking good. Great teamwork. Thanks very much, Gregory. Um, if you're saying that, that means you must know what teamwork's all about. And that's what me and Jolene do. We work together very well. And uh, what can I say? Uh, see. Teamwork is the beginning of success. Teamwork is the beginning of success. And uh, that's the road me and Jolene are on. In a bit. Oh, yeah. huh? mm -hmm. All right, peace and out. I had to take some time to make that. But if I made it wrong and had it laying down or had it crooked and all that side piece in, it wouldn't have been good. And if I didn't have the frame table to go off of. <laughs> See you later, everybody.